Hello, today's topic is annotations and dimensions. Hit annotate tab. Annotation provides construction documents with dimensions, text notes, tags, and symbols. And please note that annotations are only visible in the view which we place them in. So if I go to the third floor instead of the ground floor, I will find no tags and no dimension, unlike the ground floor. There are two types of annotations. The first type reports data from the model. Example of that is the door tags. The second type of annotations, the one which doesn't report data from the model. Example of that is the North arrow. The first example on the annotation type that reports data from the model. For instance, tagging the doors. Hit annotate tab, tag by category. By the way, I can edit the leader arrowhead of the door tag and the door tag itself, but I need two different approaches. The approach to edit the leader arrowhead of the door tag. To do so, we click on the door tag, properties, leader line, I need to check it, and then edit type. As usual, duplicate we name it okay this is our own door tag type and here the leader arrowhead i would choose instead of none arrow fill 20 degree apply and okay but why does it look like this this is because i have placed the door tag directly inside the door but if i move the door tag, the leader will be shown this way. Then the approach to edit the door tag itself. Double click. We are in the family editor uh, mode. I would remove that frame of the door tag. Create line. And this is my new frame file save as family under my local drive example to save and then load into my project that project okay after loading to my project I selected from the type selector I am going to choose the one I have created that one also I can edit I would add leader line and edit type instead of leader arrowhead none I would choose arrow 20 degree example 2 of the second type of annotation which is the static one or the one that doesn't report any data from the model. For example, the North Arrow. So we need to hit Insert tab, Load Family, Annotations, North Arrow, M North Arrow, and Open. To insert into our project, we need to hit Annotate, and then hit simple from type selector i would choose the one i have loaded which is m north r1 finally moving to dimensions also there are two types of dimensions the first is temporary and the other is permanent the temporary dimensions we get that 
temporary dimension when we click on any element. We can change the value of it so it shrinks or expands the element accordingly. This means we can change the location of the element if we change the numerical value of those temporary dimensions. To illustrate that, I would select that wall for example. And this is the temporary dimension. If I change it to become 6 meter instead of 7.25, notice what would happen. The wall got moved that way, but that edge of the dimension did not move. Furthermore, we can change the temporary dimension to become a permanent one. For example, if I choose that wall and if I click on that togo, these dimensions become permanent dimension. The permanent dimensions. Hit annotate tab aligned please note that we need to click away after finishing taking the dimension or else the dimension would disappear usually after creating the dimension we need to press escape moreover we can make equalize the distances by the following process. Hit Annotate tab, Align for example. By hitting Dimension Equality, we made equalize these two distances and we made our window got centered our room to get to know the value of the dimension hit value from properties and apply now the distance is exactly 2.06 we can change the dimension style by clicking on the dimension edit type duplicate and we can then change the graphics, the text, font, size, and so on. And by this, we come to the end of our topic today. Please like this video if you find it helpful.